Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to share with you some simple but elegant ideas on how to put together a romantic dinner at home. All the tips and tricks on how to prepare things in advance, how to put together a masterclass menu, how to create a memorable evening and bond with your loved one. This idea is especially perfect for anyone who has children and babysitting is a challenge or if you simply want to impress your loved one and take their breath away. I think the most romantic things are those that are unexpected. It's when your husband walks in the door with a bouquet of flowers for no other reason other than he loves you, or when you prepare your husband's favorite meal just because you thought of him. No matter the event, always start with planning it. Write down all the details of how you envision your dinner to happen, from your menu to your outfit to the dishes that you're serving and all the decor you're using. You don't want to realize the day of your dinner that you don't have the ingredients or all the decor items. Trust me, the details matter. Plan a night where you have enough time to actually get things done without putting too much pressure on yourself. Look at having at least one hour set aside before your spouse arrives to set everything up, to jump through the shower, do your hair, put on your favorite dress and a beautiful makeup, and be ready. If you love cooking, go wild here. I cooked scallops, which literally took a few minutes to put together. You can buy a delicious dessert at your local bakery and no one needs to know about it. Presentation is everything. When I'm creating a table in my home, I really like to begin with a color palette. From there, every decision is much easier. My husband always buys red roses for me, so I can anticipate that. White pairs perfectly with red, so it was an easy setting decision. Set the scene with elegant plates. Keep it simple yet sophisticated with gleaming silver or gold trim and delicate crystal glassware. Make the setting elegant with the right candles tall, slender candlesticks. Include some red rose petals for a soft feel. And let the soft glow of candlelight create a luxurious ambiance in an unforgettable evening. Complete the look with a creative napkin fold, like a rose or a heart shape. Tonight I'm going to show you a special way to fold your napkins into a heart shape. Fold the bottom left corner to meet the right top corner and create a triangle. Then make a few folds as such and you're left with a beautiful napkin heart shape. How special and simple is that? Have a bottle of wine or champagne waiting for as your love arrives. If you have an ice bucket, you can place it on the table and add a few rose ice spheres. Floral ice spheres are a wonderful way to decorate and keep bottles cold. To make them, follow these simple steps. Cut the stems off fresh roses, leaving only the flower heads. Take a balloon and insert a rose head into it. Fill the balloon with water until it is desired size. Tie the balloon tightly and place the balloon in the freezer overnight. Once the ice sphere is frozen, remove the balloon. Floral ice spheres can add a touch of sophistication and elegance to any table setting that will be sure to impress. Plan a simple but sophisticated menu. And here's a great idea. Seared scallops with butternut squash puree and toasted quinoa with apples. It sounds beyond fancy, however, it couldn't be more simple. Here's how you prepare it. To a baking dish, add two cups of butternut squash, drizzle with two tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and mix to combine. Then add a few sage leaves for that special aroma. Roast in a preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 for 30 minutes 
or until a fork is easily pierced through. Meanwhile, cook your quinoa. In a saucepan, add one cup of water or stock, half a cup of quinoa, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, one tablespoon of olive oil, and mix to combine. Bring to a boil, then cover and simmer on medium-low heat for roughly 15 minutes until all the water is absorbed and your quinoa is fluffy. Remove from the heat and let it cool. Separately, dice one apple and add it to the quinoa. Mix to combine. In a skillet, melt one tablespoon of butter, then add your quinoa and apples. Cook on medium-low, stirring occasionally until your quinoa is crispy, which can take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. Another alternative to make your quinoa crispy is to bake it. Spread it thinly onto a parchment-lined baking pan, then place the baking sheet in the preheated 375 degrees oven and bake until slightly golden, about 25 minutes. It should be very crunchy when it's done. Our butternut squash is done. Transfer it to a saucepan with one cup of stock and one tablespoon of butter. Use your immersion blender and blend it all until smooth. Add one teaspoon of sage and half a teaspoon of paprika and mix to combine. This is a perfect timing to adjust seasoning to your liking. Cook for roughly five minutes to let all the seasoning blend in. You can easily prepare both of these side dishes a day in advance and store it in the fridge until ready to use. To cook your scallops, start by drying them with a paper towel. Season on both sides with salt and black pepper to taste. In a skillet, heat two tablespoons of oil, then add your scallops without overcrowding. Cook three minutes on one side, then flip them carefully on the other side and cook for two more minutes. In the last minute, add two tablespoons of butter and a few sage leaves. This is perfection. Assemble immediately, and this is how you present a masterclass dinner. Place two tablespoons of butternut squash puree on a serving plate and use the back of your tablespoon and drag it gently while rotating your plate around. Just like that. Now add two to three tablespoons of the crispy quinoa and apples on top of your puree. Then carefully place the scallops on top. Gently decorate with microgreens or parsley. And voila! You thought you couldn't create a five-star meal at home? This was my first attempt. Imagine what you can do with your creativity. When I asked my husband what does he expect to be the highlight of this dinner, his answer was something that would show appreciation for each other. Nothing is more touching than writing a personal note with kind, loving words. Take the time to be thoughtful and share your appreciation for one another. Like most things in a relationship, it is not the final result that we care about, but the intention and the effort put into an act that matters most. I love the way this came to life. Who would have thought that recreating an indoor dining experience would be such a novel idea? Tonight I prepared scallops in honor of the first dish my husband cooked for me right after we got married. He wanted to impress me, or so he said. So he diced the scallops into tiny bite pieces because he thought they'll cook faster this way. The scallops literally disappeared into the pan, like disintegrated. There was hardly anything to be seen in the pan. He was shocked, and I was totally impressed. That was the day we decided that I will be the one cooking moving forward. So we're always joking when I cook scallops. Make sure you dice them, he says, and we have a good laugh.
Many of you have been asking about this painting of me and my husband dancing. Feel free to DM me if you want the contact of the artist. She was able to paint this with just a few pictures of me and my husband. This girl is beyond talented and the painting was very affordable. There is no better feeling than when your loved one walks into the dining room, sees the table, and their eyes light up. Remember, it's not about getting it perfect, it's about caring and enjoying the process. Much love to you. See you next time. <laughs>